Hey guys and welcome back to another brand new Jujutsu Kaisen video and yeah I've been on my Jujutsu Kaisen's video streaks for like this past few days and people actually watched them I was quite surprised maybe because of the trailer hype but yeah in today's video I would like to talk again something that is related to the Jujutsu Kaisen season 2 and I did not actually realize this until Jujutsu Kaisen content on Twitter actually points this out apparently other than the change of director, there's actually a change for the OSC composer for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, which is something that I actually did not realize until Jujutsu Kaisen content on Twitter actually points it out. So, um, so before we actually get right into the video, I would like to actually point out how important original soundtrack is for a particular anime. As an example, Attack on Titan, without Vogelim Cafe, without Yusei Big Girl, without Ashes on the Fire, without the other side of the sea, without Footsteps of Doom, without all of those amazing, iconic soundtrack, all of the iconic Attack on Titan scene wouldn't be hitting as hard or wouldn't even be as iconic as it is without those original soundtrack and that applies to Jujutsu Kaisen as well without your battle is my battle without hollow purple OST without all of those amazing sounding soundtrack all of the Jujutsu Kaisen scene wouldn't hit as hard as it is without all of those soundtracks so original soundtrack or OST is very much um, played a very important role in a particular anime and for season 2, there's actually quite a change for the composer team as well. I'll be using JJK Content's um, thread right here as a huge reference for this video. Without this wonderful thread, I wouldn't be able to actually make this video. So yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1 and Jujutsu Kaisen Movie Zero, the OST composer team actually consisted of three members, which were Hiroaki Tsutsumi, Alisa Okehazama, and also Yoshi Masa Terui. And according to season 2 staff changes, it seems that both Hiroaki Tsusumi and Alisa Okehazama are gone, which is a shame because they actually created one of the best Jujutsu Kaisen original soundtrack. And the only one that actually stayed is only Yoshi Masa Terui, who is also the composer for the latest OST of the promotional video of Jujutsu Kaisen season 2 and also the character introduction promotional video. Before we actually get right into Yoshi Masa Terui's work in Jujutsu Kaisen, let's take a look at the two composers that actually left the team. So first of all, we have Alisa Okazama, and in my opinion, one of the best work in Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely 723 original soundtrack Jujutsu Kaisen, and also one and only Hollow Purple, which is one of my favorite or one of the most memorable soundtrack in Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> and other than that, we also lost the one and only Hiroaki Tsutsumi, who actually did my personal favorite Jujutsu Kaisen OST, which is Your Battle Is My Battle. I really love this OST so much, and unfortunately, Hiroaki Tsutsumi actually left the composer team. Other than that, Hiroaki Tsutsumi also worked on Fight Again OST, which also sounds very nice. But as for Yoshimasa Teru's OST in Jujutsu Kaisen though, we actually do have some very nice sounding OST such as Jujutsu Sorcerer Megumi Fushiguro, which is Megumi's OST, and also Working Overtime, which is also Nanami's OST. Both of this soundtrack actually sounds pretty nice. I don't think it is actually the same level as Your Battle Is My Battle. I mean, like, this is literal peak OST from Jujutsu Kaisen. So comparing this to OST will be quite unfair, but I don't really want to downgrade the work of Yoshimasa Terui in Jujutsu Kaisen. Some people actually don't like the OST that is being used in the latest promotional video of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, which is understandable. I mean, like, it's your thoughts, your opinion on it. I can't really change anything about it. But bro, he literally created created Megumi's OST, Nobara's OST, and also Nanami's OST. Like, these are actually quite some great work from Yoshimasa Terui. So for him to actually show his uniqueness in Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 will definitely be quite an interesting thing to see. But obviously, it is quite a mess that both Hiroaki Tsutsumi and Alisa Okehazama left the team because both of them actually created a few of my favorite OST from Jujutsu Kaisen. So I really hope Yoshimasa Terui will be able to create some bangers OST for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 as well because again, OST 
OST really plays a main role in an anime. And yeah, those are basically it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.